Also, the National Park Foundation giving half a million dollar grant to Yellowstone National Park to help replenish the native cutthroat trout population. MDN's John Shear explains how the money will be used and why it's needed. These waters hold a great prize that many anglers travel a long way to find, the Yellowstone cutthroat trout. But this prize is threatened by a danger that previous generations of anglers themselves introduced. Beginning in 1889 and 1890. Wanting to provide more opportunities for anglers, the U.S. Fish Commission stocked some Yellowstone lakes that actually held no fish at all until then. And some of the first ones were these non-native lake trout. At the time, biologists thought there was no way fish could migrate from Lewis and Shoshone lakes to Yellowstone Lake. But the fish found a way. There is a chance that the lake trout actually accessed Yellowstone Lake over time by swimming up and over to Ocean Pass. It took almost a century for that to happen, but once it did... The Yellowstone cutthroat trout, the native fish in the area, just completely plummeted. But the biologists had a solution. So we have a large netting program, a gill netting program, that's targeting these invasive non-native lake trout. The program costs more than a million dollars a year, and that's where Heather White and Yellowstone Forever step in. So we received a $500,000 donation from the National Park Foundation and the Argyris Foundation uh, to support the native fish program at Yellowstone National Park. We are pretty actively now trying to reverse a lot of what went on, what went on over the last you know, century or so. That means taking to the streams too, where planted brook and rainbow trout threaten the native cutthroats. Will electrofish? Anglers are sometimes asked to keep all non-native fish and sometimes streams are poisoned. If we have situations where the cutthroat or the grayling, for example, are totally gone. And it's not just fish that benefit. It has impacts with osprey, with bears, with beavers, and with other wildlife. It's actually an ecosystem restoration effort, and that's what this money is buying. And it doesn't hurt that anglers are now starting to benefit as well. We're hearing people say how exciting it is to go fishing and whenever they go they see a Yellowstone cutthroat trout and they're excited to see the native fish come back. That fish is filling the net, man. Look at that. Oh my <laughs> word. The efforts to protect Yellowstone cutthroat trout will have to go on for decades. For MTN News, I'm John Shearer on the banks of the Madison River in Yellowstone National Park. Now you can see the full interviews with Heather White and Todd Cool at KBZK and KXLF.com.